This is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 25, local news you can count on. News is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Give them a call, 727-9900. Today's news is also brought to you by Gunny's Air Conditioning and Heating. New service and repair. Call Gunny's, 775-727-6800. Welcome to News 25 here on KPVM TV and Ace Country Radio. Today is Tuesday, September 13th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Well, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Chief Scott Lewis gives additional details regarding Sunday night's fatal rollover crash on Bourbon Street. Sunday evening, just after 10 p.m., we were dispatched for a report of a motor vehicle accident. It was located on Bourbon, just west of Pahrump Valley Boulevard. The initial report was that one vehicle, it was a two vehicle accident with at least one of the vehicles resting either upside down or on its side. As crews arrived, they found a very dynamic scene where apparently a vehicle had left the roadway at a high rate of speed, impacted a parked vehicle, and then ended up on its side. Uh, the investigation revealed and the scene size up revealed that there was two people that still occupied that vehicle. They were both mechanically entrapped. Crews went into rescue mode updated the assignment, adding an additional medic unit and ME to the response. As I arrived on location, they were completing an extrication, which means that they were removing pieces of the car in order to access the trapped individuals. During that time, the first person was extricated. It was then determined that the other occupant did not survive the injury sustained. Therefore, it became a crime scene. And when I say crime scene, it doesn't mean that it was actually a crime committed, but it's held in the current state so that the investigators can come out and investigate without an altered scene or a tampered scene. So the uh, recovery was uh, halted. The uh, patient who was extricated was transported rapidly to Mercier and subsequently flown to trauma. Crews remained on location pending the NHP fatal team's investigation and once they were given the green light and permitted, they then completed a recovery. Yeah, no, there was no occupants. It was parked in a residential driveway. Uh, when the other vehicle left the roadway, it hit some landscaping rocks. And when I say rocks, they were pretty much close to boulders um, and displaced most of them and also moved several others, which impeded our initial extrication because we had to, to get those boulders out of the way of the action area. There was concern that there may have been a child or an infant within the vehicle. Uh, we were uncertain as to the size of the car seat, but we did receive that information. Once we were on location, not only did we locate the car seat on the outside of the vehicle, we found that, of course, and there was no one else in there, just the two adults. Anytime there is that type of mechanism with a fatality in the same compartment, uh, that is considered a trauma criteria, and obviously the person warranted flight. And one patient was taken to Desert View Hospital this morning with injuries as a result of a two-vehicle crash at David Street and Wilson Road. Captain Kevin Clickner from Pahrump Valley Farm Rescue says another crash at Calvada Boulevard and Idaho Street was deemed to be a rear-end crash with all occupants declining to be medically transported from that scene. Vehicle incident today at Wilson and David. Uh, apparently someone went through a stop sign and cross traffic didn't have a stop sign, so the collision occurred. Uh, minor injuries on both drivers. One person signed AMA and one was transported to the hospital for minor injuries. One occupant in each vehicle, both were drivers. Well, Mother Nature just won't let up. Death Valley National Park is once again struck by significant rainfall, leading to additional road closures and more. Brad Francis has the details. Weekend storms fueled by the remnants of Hurricane K caused localized heavy damage in Death Valley National Park Saturday. Today, California Highway 190 is closed from the California Route 136 junction to Stovepipe Wells Village. Badwater Road is fully closed and many other park roads remain closed due to damage from a record-setting rain event and flooding five weeks ago. The National Park Service says the flooding across Badwater Road was concentrated from Natural Bridge to Badwater Basin. The National Weather Service alerted park rangers about the approaching storm about an hour in advance. Rangers then quickly warned people to leave the area. Despite those efforts, one RV was stuck until crews could clear a path Sunday morning, and the Park Service says about 40 vehicles were blocked by active flooding on California 190 west of Town Pass Saturday. A tour bus also was trying to turn around and got stuck across both lanes of 190 east of Stovepipe Wells. Authorities say California 190 has at least one section of 
missing pavement across both lanes on the west side of Town Pass. The California Department of Transportation has not provided an estimate for when the road will be repaired and reopened. Death Valley National Park is still trying to recover from significant damage caused by a record rainfall event last month. For the latest on the status of all roads in Death Valley National Park, visit the National Park Service website at nps.gov slash deva. Well, as you may know, uh, County Commissioner Leo Blundo had a second court appearance yesterday in Pahrump's Justice Court. We told you about that story on Monday night's broadcast. This morning, the Knight County Sheriff's Office did release the actual booking photo for the commissioner, and they wanted to make clear that this, in fact, was not a new charge against Commissioner Blundo. And, in fact, this was a book and release, which is something that they do for uh, reasons um, through the court system so that they have a current booking photo. And that was released through the Nye County Sheriff's Office and they wanted to make that clear. If you missed any of the story on yesterday's news, you can go to our KPVM Facebook page or our YouTube page, or you can even look for the booking photo posted today. And there's a link to what happened in court on Monday with our County Commissioner Leo Blundo. News 25 will return in just a moment. You're watching News 25, the most recognized and farthest reaching local news in Nye County. News 25, local news you can count on. This segment of News 25 is brought to you by Lisa Spahitz and Mike Plasmeyer at Country Financial Insurance. Auto, home, life, and commercial. 775-727-8920. Welcome back to News 25. Well, there is a first Sunday craft fair happening at Second Amendment Guns and Ammo. We caught up with the owner, Khalif Gordon, to find out more and what's happening at the indoor shooting range located on Basin Avenue in Pahrump. Uh, today it's a great event. We have <clears throat> all the vendors from around the Pahrump area and they came out to support this very memorable day, which is, you know, September 11th. Uh, was a, it changed the United States forever. So many people's lives were affected by what terror had happened. So we wanted to bring everybody out here as a celebration to bring everybody together in the community. Um, that's basically why we built this place. And so we're just fulfilling that vision that we had. Yes, yeah, so the first Sunday event is normally, we do this every month on the first Sunday of every month. However, last Sunday, as you guys are aware of, was 109, 110 degrees. So the heat, the heat warning and the heat, we just decided to, to cancel it last Sunday and to move it to a more memorable date, um, which is today. But usually, it's going to be the first Sunday of every month. We have a lot to offer. And, um, you know, we, we serve the people of Nye County. We serve the people of Las Vegas. Um, so we have training, one-on-one -on -one training, um, amazing trainers on staff, um, Travis Shelton, Christine Moran. Uh, if you're a female, you don't feel comfortable with a male trainer, we have a female trainer on staff. If, if you want a male trainer, we have Travis Shelton. He's, he's an amazing trainer as well. Uh, also, so also, we have <clears throat> retail space, so if you want a firearm, come and, uh, come and get a firearm. Um, protect the Second Amendment, protect your right, and because you know the, it looks like they're squeezing in on, on that right. And so we have to do everything we can do possibly to uphold that right. Um, we also have um, the shooting range, indoor shooting range. It's 36 feet long. Um, technology, you push a button on the, on the touch screen and it sends out that target however you want to go. Um, that's another thing that we can offer here. So we can do training and take you actually right into the indoor shooting range and so that we can solidify the, the training, that, the theory that you've learned in the classroom. Um, last but not least, we have the Jamaican Blue Mountain two-way coffee bar. Um, and we just finished a little memorial for all the Purple Heart recipients. Um, and we're so thankful for all your service. And that's outside. Um, <clears throat> so please come out. If you're a Purple Heart recipient, sign the Purple Heart and come out, have some coffee, just hang out and be together. We do have rentals. So if you're not sure about a gun, 
you want to make sure that you get sure about the gun, you can rent a gun here. Uh, we also have our Class 3 license, so if you've never shot with a suppressed rifle or handgun, we do have suppressors here now for rent. Um, we have a Desert Eagle, a 50 cal. If you want to shoot a 50 cal inside the range, um, come on out and give it a go. So we're open from Tuesday to Sunday, all right? But from Tuesday to Saturday, it's 10 to 7. And from on Sunday, it's 8 to 4. We all need one week, I mean one day off a week, so we're closed on Mondays. We are at 1360 East Basin Avenue, Pahrump, Nevada, 89060. If you need to call us, please. It's 775-877-9111. And if you want to look us up on the web, we do have a full web service as well where you can buy guns online if we don't have the gun here in the facility. That's gonna be www.second, that's 2ndamendmentsguns.com. We do have a Las Vegas location, so we're doing our best to bring some of the Las Vegas populace up to Perum to show them this wonderful place up here. Um, that's located on 4570 North Rancho Drive, Suite 4. Las Vegas, Nevada, 89130. Well, Eddie Williams from the Prump Valley Rotary tells us how you can get some of those tickets that are still available now for the Rotary's $10,000 giveaway. Yes, we see a product got about 75 more tickets left for the upcoming extravaganza, uh, which is going to be October the 9th at the Prump um, Nugget Casino, and it's going to be starting at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., and it's going to be a Hawaiian Luau theme. And so, yes, the first prize winner is going to be $10,000. And then we're going to have a lot of great door prizes inside of auction item that's going to be there also. And the food is going to be a Hawaiian also type. So I think that's going to be really fantastic uh, dinner. And the tickets are $80. We'll admit two individuals without dinner. If you want dinner, then it's another total $140, another $60. Mm -hmm. So yes. Exactly, ours are great. You have one chance out of 350. Mm -hmm. We just only said in total 350 tickets hit. Mm -hmm. And so we do have winners uh, that win it. And we got one member of the club, now that John from last year, uh, Sherry Starbucks, that won the $10,000. Yes, they are exactly some great odds. And also you're doing a great thing for the community because it's our biggest fundraiser and we do several things within the community every week. Yeah. And so, uh, mm -hmm. And we always have to have funds to be able to do that. Uh, and so we always want to thank the community and the people that support us. All right, if they don't know a Rotarian, they get a ticket, they can go to our website. And it's uh, www.pbrotary.org. Yeah, they can give me a call to, again, at 210-573-6161. Well, if you live in Nevada, a lot of helpful information is just a phone call away. By dialing 211, you're connected to Nevada 211. This service is part of a national program to help residents find the resources they need. Everything from job services and health providers to veteran services and programs for seniors. Nevada 211 Director Lisa Martin explains more about the free service and what it can do for you. Nevada 211 is the state's information and referral contact center uh, for health and human service resources. Um, it's a free and easy to remember number that connects people to information about critical health and human services that are available in their community. Uh, the call center specialists are trained uh, to assist health seekers in navigating what can be a confusing maze of finding the right uh, service or the right agency to help with the service that's needed. Um, it's a free confidential program available 24-7-365. 211 is a, a national service. Uh, most communities have 211s. Nevada 211 is specific to the state of Nevada, um, and we provide um, resources across the whole state. In our database, uh, we have about almost 12, 1,200 agencies uh, with over 3,900 programs. Um, and the resources that are listed with Nevada 211 include basic human needs resources, such as food pantries, clothing, rental and utility assistance, um, physical and mental health resources as well. Uh, that would be medical information lines, Medicaid and Medicare information, um, counseling, 
drug and alcohol intervention. There's also employment support services listed. Uh, that includes unemployment benefit information, job training programs, um, education programs and such. Uh, we have support for older Americans and people with disability uh, resources. That would be like senior centers, um, home health care, um, meals on wheels, respite care, um, non-emergency medical transportation. And then as well as we have support for children, youth and families, uh, that could be uh, Head Start, family resource centers, recreation programs, tutorings, and things like that. Agencies that offer health and human service programs are welcome to reach out to us to see if they can be excluded or included in the Nevada 211 database. Um, they would just have to reach out to Nevada 211 at moneymanagement.org. We're available by phone, text, live chat, and email, um, as well as our extensive data, uh, database website uh, where you can reach us at nevada211.org and uh, you can research in our resources um, yourself there as well. That's also where you can go um, to live chat with the call specialist um, 24 hours a day. All right, right after this break, we'll have your health report. You're watching News 25, brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. Also brought to you by Silver State Health. Visit silverstatehealth.org or call 702-471-0420 for an appointment. News 25, local news you can count on. Well, ahead of what could be a more severe flu season, it's time for parents to start thinking about taking their kids to get a flu shot. And we can often predict what our flu season is going to look like by following um, the other side of the world whose flu season starts earlier than ours. And what we're seeing in other parts of the world, most specifically um, Australia, is that they are having a earlier onset of their um, flu season, as well as higher rates. Um, and so if that trend continues, we will likely be seeing that here in the U.S. as well. Dr. Kimberly Giuliano with Cleveland Clinic Children's recommends a flu shot for all children ages six months and older. She urges that kids get the flu vaccine in September or October before cases start to pick up. Dr. Giuliano says the flu shot is safe and helps prevent severe disease and even death. Children can also get the COVID-19 vaccine and other routine vaccinations at the same time as their flu shot. While kids with underlying health conditions are more likely to have complications from the flu, all kids are still at risk. We do see severe flu every single year in our hospitals um, in children who were otherwise healthy. Um, so healthy today, healthy their entire life, um, and in the hospital with severe pneumonia, needing oxygen, and sometimes even ventilator support. Well, Dr. Giuliano says it's also important for kids to practice good hand hygiene, cough into their arms instead of their hands, and stay home when sick. Well, if you're looking for a cute and cuddly older pup to rescue, Simba may be just the doggy that you've been looking for. This black senior poodle is looking for a home of his own after his owner's medical issues made it hard for him to continue to take care of him. Today's Save a Pet segment is made possible by Realty Executives in Action. Put the team at Realty Executives in action for you. Hi, this is Pat with Never Forgotten Animal Society, and I'd like to introduce you to Simba. Simba's a 10-year-old poodle, maybe weighs uh, seven, eight pounds. Um, he is an older gentleman. He's about 10 years old, and uh, he does have a fourth stage heart murmur. He does have bad teeth, but he is a very sweet, loving little man. As you can see, he just loves to be held and cuddled, and you're welcome to come see him anytime. Um, he is available here at Never Forgotten Animal Society. We're at 520 East Street. Suite C is in Charlie in Pahrump, right behind Wells Fargo Bank. 
Our phone number is 775-537-8674. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 in the morning until 5 p.m. every night. You're more than welcome to come in. No appointment is necessary. Our adoption fees are $250, and that includes, for older dogs, that includes their spay, neuter, microchip, all of their vaccinations, and their uh, rabies certificate. So if you're interested in one of our animals, please stop by at any time and come visit them. They need the love, they need the comfort, and they need to be held. So come on in at your leisure. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. We have a little bit of letting up on some of those temperatures. We're going to see what's in store when Romano does the weather. News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee, the dollop of sour cream on your burrito, the melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Good evening, Nevada. I'm Romano Frediani, in for John Kohler, who is off this week. On a Taco Tuesday, we are continuing the cooling trend up and down the state as fall is knocking on our door. Fernley, 83 degrees. Fallon, 82. Only 80 in Carson City, and our cool spot today is Tonopah with 71 degrees. Also 71 in Goldfield, but Tonopah wins the over-under with the 52-degree low tonight. Beatty saw 83 degrees, Amargosa 87, that's our hot spot for the day, and Vegas close behind at 85. Death Valley finally got a break from triple digits, down to just 99 today. But here in the playground of Pahrump, let's take a look. 83 degrees currently. It was 85 a little earlier. Winds out of the south at 12 miles an hour. 38% humidity, giving us a lot of cloud cover and overcast skies. Sun rose at 625 a.m. It'll set this evening at 654. That humidity continues to ratchet up to 56% tonight. The winds out of the southeast at 11 miles an hour as we head for a low of 68 degrees. As we head on into the week, what do we see? Well, actually, pretty nice. Nice looking week. Lots of sunshine, very few clouds, very few, little chance of rain. Temperatures firmly in the 80s, with the exception of Monday when it dips down to 79. It's the lows you want to watch out for as we uh, move into the low, mid to low 60s and down to 57, 58 on Sunday, Monday. But winds relatively calm under 15 miles an hour, except for Monday. So we got a good week to look forward to. Hope you enjoy it. Make your plans. Back to the desk. Here's Deanna. Thank you so much, Romano. Um, we want to talk about a couple of events that are coming up. Number one, the first one is uh, the Show and Shine Cruising. This is Rose's Paradise. You know, she does home health. And uh, she's been doing this for a couple of years now. She is going to actually be in charge of the car show that is happening there at the Pahrump Fall Festival. So we want to um, let everybody know about this. If you want to join this car show, you can give Rose a call. 775-468-3416. That's 775 468 you know, there's going to be a lot of awards. And what's even better about this is that even if you don't want to join the car show, there's going to be some fantastic cars right there on Saturday, September 24th at Petrick Park. And so, of course, give Rose a call. Also, a USO tour. And this is BJ Hedrick Irwin and the Nevada Silver Chappers. I love this poster because you can see that's BJ in there. They want everybody to invite them to celebrate the U.S. military and their veterans at this USO Around the World Benefit Show. This is going to benefit the, U, the VFW Food Bank. And it's going to be held on November 5th right there at the Saddle West Hotel. You can buy your tickets right now by giving Jackie Greco a call, 775-751-3468. That's 775-751-3468. And of course, this is going to be a great show because you're going to see the Nevada Silver Tappers. And of course, if you missed any of that, of course, it's on our KPVM Facebook page. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of News 25. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.